Welcome back, ladies and gentlemen, to T-Rex Tutorials. Uh, today I'm going to show you all over printing, or what's also known in the industry as sublimation printing. So here's a couple of files that were sent my way for this project. Um, we've got our logo here, and then we have our all over um, design, or in this case a photograph, of a seashore. So um, first we need to start a new file, so file, new. Um, we can start at 3,000 by 5,000 dp, uh, 300 dpi RGB with a transparent background. Let's hit OK. Okay, so now we want to populate our new canvas with our imagery. So I'll just separate these windows. Might need to move some of these windows around here to be able to see them all. So I'm just going to drag this layer of this beach scene, drag it into my other file so here we have it and then let me do the same thing with the logo so I'll just you can drag from the layer panel or you can drag from the artwork itself or from the file itself okay so now we'll bring this back into the picture okay so we've got a little bit of uh, scaling that we need to work with so I'm gonna hide the logo layer because I'm not gonna work with it yet so now I've got this background so I need to make this um, bigger than it is. So one of the things I like to do is I'll right click on the uh, the layer and then I'll convert it to a smart object and notice how it's got that little um, icon in the bottom right of the layer. So then I'm going to go to uh, image transform or free transform and then I'm going to drag from the corner only from the corner while pressing shift so that I'll get proportionate um, I'll get a proportionate scaling. It'll it'll scale proportionately so I don't get a stretch out. You can stretch it out a little bit here and there if you need to fudge it just a little bit, um, but not too much because it looks pretty obvious. And then hit OK or the check mark. And then I'm going to turn on our logo, hit the logo layer, and then center this right in the middle. So this is a little bit too big. So I'll do, again, free transform, make this at least half the size, bring it back to center, hit OK. And I want to see my ruler, so you can do Command R or just hit ruler here. And then I want to bring in some guides. So the guides come in from the rulers here. Notice how it starts at zero and it's 10 inches wide by 17 inches tall. So I've got uh, zero starts right here at the corner. So let's say I don't really want to have this white space. So I'm going to drag a guide so that the shirt will be printed from this guide down. Um, Okay, so we probably need to make this a little bit smaller. And then center this. So it's 10. I'm going to drag in a guide at 5 so I know where precisely my center is. And if I want to center this, I can either eyeball it or I can go again, edit, uh, free transform, and then this gives me the little uh, markers for the center. So I'll just use my arrow keys to toggle it a little bit. Um, I'll move it down because this would be the collar. This area would be the collar. Hit OK. And then maybe give it a little bit more. And then what I can do next is grab my t-shirt. So just to kind of, just to mock it up, I'll grab my t-shirt layer double click since it's a background so I'll double click make it a layer okay and then drag this over here so this is a lot smaller again convert to smart object edit free transform and sometimes Photoshop will give you little error error messages. I've been dealing with this all day long. I'm not sure if it's because there was a new moon yesterday or maybe electricity in the air. Who knows? Okay, so then I'll hit OK. I want to get rid of the white space, so I'll go over to my wand tool, or you can just hit the letter W for wand, 
Um, my tolerance is about 32. Let's see if we can, yeah, that's a little bit too high. So deselect, uh, let's make it 15. That's a little bit too much. So let's lower it down to five. Okay, so we don't have any of the t-shirts selected. That's what we want. Now I'm going to hit delete. Okay, so now it won't let me do it because I've got to bring it back to a non-smart object. Sorry, folks, a little bit of uh, confusion there. And then now I hit delete. Okay, deselect, command D. And let me go ahead and drag this to the back. So I'll drag this behind the layers. And so I'll be able to see the t-shirt, I'm going to drop the opacity on the very background. Okay, so I'll just name this t-shirt. Okay, so I want to move this around so I can get a, a look of a, an idea of what it's going to look like. So remember how I said that I didn't want to have any of that white on the t-shirt design. So I need to move, move the t-shirt back because I'm still getting the collar up here. Okay, so now I'll move the t-shirt down. This will help me get a sense of where to put the t-shirt. Okay, so now I need to move the logo. It needs to be a lot smaller, so edit, free transform. Put it right in the center, hit OK. Now, bring our t-shirt or bring this opacity down just a little bit more just to eyeball this and make sure that it looks all right um, if we want to make any more changes but I think that's gonna look pretty good so I'm gonna turn these two layers off go back to my t-shirt and then select the t-shirt so I'll go back to wand bring my tolerance up to let's just say 50 okay so Let's take it to 75 in the interest of time. Okay, so I've got my selection. I'm gonna to go to select. I wanna save the selection t-shirt. And then now I can get rid of the shirt, go back to my background layer. Let's bring the opacity back up. So I've got the selection superimposed on, uh, on this all over pattern or all over artwork. And so all I'm gonna do is edit, copy, and edit, paste. So what it's done, it's taken that selection and it's copied and pasted the artwork only in the shape of the t-shirt. So then we have our logo right on top. You notice we don't have the details of the t-shirt we don't have the ribbed collar or any of the wrinkles but this gives your customer a an idea of what their all over print is going to look like so one thing that i wanted to point out is when you send an all over print it's important so i'm just going to turn that layer back on i'm going to put the t-shirt layer back on top so we can see it but one point that i want to make is sometimes you see this nice big beautiful photograph but to remember in all over printing not every single part of the photograph is going to show up on your t-shirt or on your garment on your or your product whatever it may be a pillowcase a blanket because of um, because of the t-shirt the shape so a lot of this image got cut off or uh, will not end up appearing on your product so there's your final product and just so you know we can do it again um, if we go to t-shirt again and we select that um, actually I think I already saved it but anyway so we've got our selection here um, I'm gonna get rid of the t-shirt and I'm gonna go back to this large layer so I'm gonna delete or hide all of the other layers and so what if I wanted to have this nice dark bottom here at the bottom of my t-shirt so all I would do is move that around to give myself and my customer a sense of what it's going to look like. So if I do again, copy paste, edit, copy, edit, paste, it'll give us a different uh, cut out of, of that picture. So I'll put my logo on again, I'll move this layer up. So 
you can decide or um, your customer can decide before they send it to you, can decide which design they want to put on, on their all over print. So a good looking t-shirt, this actually came out um, pretty well even though the size was 72 dpi. Um, like I said, the preference is 200 minimum, 200 dpi minimum, 300 maximum, or 300 is the normal printing uh, ppi or dpi pixels per inch. Um, but there is a little bit of uh, forgiveness in this process. Uh, what I mean is that the 72 dpi will show up um, printed out fairly well, even though that's a low resolution. But again, preferences for it to be 200 to 300 dpi. So there you have it, folks. Um, an all over print. Uh, this is basically a mock up of an all over print. Thanks for watching.